Have you ever been adding drop downs to your Google Sheet and you saw chips, arrows, and plain text, but weren't sure of the difference or why you would use each one? So let me just run you through real quick, show you visually what these look like, and a couple drawbacks and advantages of each one. So, chips. Chips are the latest addition to Google's drop down options. And so, this chip or pill version is a little different than what you've been used to if you've dealt with Google Sheets for a while. If, however, you're used to using a online CRM, this probably looks a little familiar. So let me look at the drawbacks of chips real quick. So the drawbacks of chips is, let's just select this column real quick here. And let's say I'm gonna delete these values. So I can hit delete or backspace, right? If I hit that again, however, I delete those data validation options. And so now if I try to do something, nothing is happening. So that is the biggest drawback I see for chips right now is that it's too easy to accidentally remove them. Now, under arrows, I don't know of any particular drawback that is not normal for dropdowns. The one thing that can happen with any of these dropdowns, however, is let's say you're copying and pasting text from somewhere else. So let's just say alpha. And then I just copy this and paste it. That's going to remove that data validation. But that happens with any of these options. So that isn't particularly a drawback for arrows. It's just about copying the formatting between different things. So I like these arrows. I think they're clean and simple and allow you to do what you need. You can type and search. And you can do that with these as well. But another annoying thing with these is that when you're trying to delete an option, you have to click outside of the pill or the chip to delete. And then again, we're back to the same old thing. If you accidentally hit twice, then you have to go undo to make sure they restore that. And sometimes people don't always pay attention. Sometimes I don't always pay attention. So sometimes you might accidentally delete a drop down and not realize it. And then whether you go back later, or someone else goes back later, and now you have to go fix it. Now, plain text is kind of the undercover cop in this scenario. So the plain text doesn't look like a drop down, but if you double click, options do show up. Another thing is if you start typing, the options show up as well. And so when would you use plain text? I would say probably as a subtle form of data validation if you want to force people to pick certain options. Now, one thing to note that is a drawback now for both arrows and plain text is Google has added multi select drop downs. So if we go here, you can see now they allow multiple selections. And so now we can actually select multiple options in a single cell. Now, unfortunately, let's uh, go back to their data validation. Let's just remove that rule right now. All right, so unfortunately, if you do not pick the chip, which is here, then that is not allowed. So whether you do plain text or arrow, it doesn't allow you to do multiple selections until you do chip. So that is one drawback now with the way they did that update. So the way I would say this is if you want to use chips, you like chips, go ahead and use them. Just be careful not to accidentally delete them. And then just be aware that if you want to delete a particular cell, you do have to basically select around the pillbox and then hit backspace or delete just once. On these arrows and plain text, obviously you don't have to worry about that. The final thing that all three of these can still do, uh, data validation, all three of them allow you to set colors. And so that part is not a drawback for any particular style, even on the plain text. You can come down here and add that background highlighting with a drop down. All right, so that is it for today's video. Make sure to leave a comment below. Let me know, do you like chips, arrows, or plain text most, and why? And then after that, make sure to check out the other videos on my YouTube channel for more videos on both Google Sheets and AppScript. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.